everyone, I'm Rama, co-founder and CEO of TOCI, and in this video we will train Jolo V7, which is the state-of-the-art object detection model, to detect license plates on vehicles and then perform OCR on them, optical character recognition, to read the license plates. Alright, let's do it. The first thing you have to do is to sign up to TOS, it's totally free. So fill this form and click sign up. As I already have an account, I'm going to log in. All right, this is the library section where you can see the models we have. So for object detection, we have Jolo V3, Jolo V5, and Jolo V7. Uh, obviously, if you care a lot about the bounding box accuracy, uh, I will use the larger version, the WSH. But as we, as we want uh, for it to detect it very fast for inference, we're going to use the tiny one. All right, let's go ahead to datasets and create a new one. I have here a few datasets from before that I created. Uh, let's create a new one, call it license plates. Okay, so here we have to upload the images. I have here about 100 images of vehicles. So I'm going to drop this here and click start upload. Okay, as you can see, TOS already split the dataset between the train validation and test sets. If you never trained a neural network before, um, basically we divide the dataset in between the these this different folders, if you like, these is different sets of images. Uh, the neural network will be trained with the train set, and while training, it will test against it will test the predictions against um, images that it has never seen before and this would be the validation set so here you, you can see roughly if the AI is working well or is generalizing well and the test these are other other set of images that also the AI has never seen before and then you can use for further testing in the real world how, how it performs if it generalized or, or not. All right, here you can see we have a few statistics about 100 images we have, how many we have left to label, the classes we have, the labels, and the training experiments, and also the size of the dataset. Here in split, you can see how many examples and labels we have in each split. Okay, so let's go ahead and start labeling. Let's create first a new class, license plate, and change the color to red. All right, now we'll click here the square button, and let's go ahead and zoom in, zoom in a little, and make the first bounding box. Now you can either click submit here, the submit button, or press the E key as a shortcut to save the changes. So let's go ahead and click here. Let's make this one. So if you are in the draw mode and you want to move around the image, you can press the space key in your keyboard and keep it pressed so you can move and then when you want to label just release the space and you can label Batman okay as you can see this is very fast as we have uh, one label per image roughly in some images we have uh, maybe two or three vehicles but most of them are only one vehicle make sure you are making the bounding box well because otherwise you will confuse the AI while, while training
Okay. So I I'm not going to label all the images because it will take me a, uh, a while. It's not so not not that much time, but maybe like half an hour or an hour to label all the images. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So yeah, I'm going to upload a new one that I have already labeled before. All right, so here's the my data set that I have already labeled before. It has uh, quite a lot of images. As you can see, ni nearly 9,000 images. Here you can see the number of license plates. So I'm going to upload this. Okay, great. The data set finished uploading. And now we're going to go ahead and start the training. So let's go to the train section and create a new training session. Let's go ahead and select the tiny version of Solo V7. Let's select the license plate dataset. And this is the machine that we do the training. As you may know, to, to speed up the training of uh, large neural networks, uh, we have to use GPUs. If you have a GPU in your computer, you can go ahead and run these commands to connect your your machine to TIOS and TIOS will control it to download the data set and start the training. If you don't have a machine with your GPU, you can use Google Colab. So this is totally for free. You just have to run these four simple commands, these four simple cells and this Google Colab instance with a free GPU from Google will be connected to TIOS for training. But as I am in a paid account, uh, in the business account of TIOS, that it comes with two machines with GPUs, I'm going to select this one and click Create. OK, so this is pretty much it. Um, this is the training session. Here we will see all the, all the graphs of the AI, the metrics, the training metrics. And this the epochs, if you don't know what there are, they are, uh, is the number of times that the AI will predict all of the images in the dataset. And with each prediction, it will be better and better at predicting the bounding boxes uh, in the, and the classes. We have only one class, but if we have many classes at first, it will confuse them. And with each epoch, it will be becoming better and better at predicting the bounding boxes and the classes. So yeah, let's go ahead and the bond, the batch size is okay for for this GPU, the Tesla T4. If you have a larger GPU with more memory, you can increase that if you want. But uh, you have to be careful because uh, the AI may the neural network may run out of memory. This will be faster if you if you this uh, the batch size is basically the number of images that the AI predicts in parallel. So obviously the higher the, the number here, the faster the, the faster the training will be. If you want to start with uh, a trained weight that already has some features learned, we can select it here or you can just leave it in none so it will start from scratch. All right, let's click start training to start the process. And shortly we will start to see all the training metrics. All right, so now we are at epoch 40 and it's already working very well. We can see that the fitness is 68, 0.68, almost, almost 69. And above 0 0.6, 0 0.7 is already a very good model. And one of the great features of TIOS is that we can test the model while it's still training. So let's go ahead and deploy it. Let's go to the deploy section and create a new deployment, license plate detector. Select the tiny version. The weights are an encoding of the uh, knowledge of the AI. And we have two types, the last and the best. The best is the weights that were saved 
when we achieved the greatest fitness in all of the training. And the last one is the, the, la the last epoch that it trained the, the weights for that. So we're going to select the best one and click create. Okay, perfect. Uh, here we have the deployment. You send an image and receive back detections to this URL. Uh, here you have the usage. Obviously, we just created it, so we don't have any requests yet. So let's go to the playground and drop a few images. I have here a few images that has never been seen by the AI. So I'm going to test it. Let's go ahead and click the text. Uh, you can see it's pretty fast. Let's do it again. A few hundred milliseconds and it detects. That's what that's the, the tiny version. As you can see, it's working very well. And here on the right, you have the response from the API with the class confidence, the HY position of the bone box and the width and the height. But let's perform OCR on this model. Uh, yeah, for that, we have the text recognition model. The small one is the fastest and has supports for many languages because it, it some languages like Chinese and German has have some special characters. Um, but yeah, the small one is fast, but it it's, it works better for printed text in in, in paper or digital. Um, the medium is a little better, but the large one is the best for uh, real world scenarios real world images like this one that it's taken from a security camera not not very good resolution very low resolution camera it reads well with the text that it's in in an angle and that can can also happen in images in the real world so yeah let's try it with the large one we select the license plate and detect let's see 29 a dash 23, 9.50. Perfect. It's working very well. Let's try it with another one. Okay. 51F dash 59, 0.11. Very good. Let's try this one. Fifty one F four four six point fourteen. Perfect. Let's try another one. Fifty one G dash one hundred point ninety six. Excellent. Fifty one A dash 69 1.72 working very well and lastly let's try it with this one this one this one is a little harder because you can see it's a smaller bound box and also uh, it's a little bit on, on an angle so let's try it okay works very well as you can see bh5250 Let's now try with the small model to see how it how it does. As you can see, it's faster, but it it's detecting bad the, the the text. It's not I. Let's try the medium one. All right, it's a little better. The B and the fifty at the end it detected and the two, but no not as well as the large one. As you can see, this is perfect. All right, guys, with that, we finished the tutorial. I hope you liked it. I will leave it in the description down below a link for the data set so you can download it and try it out for yourself. Uh, yeah, also the link for the docs of Teos so you can learn how to call the API for, from whatever device you like. Uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment down below to let me know what uh, other tutorials you want me to make in the future. And uh, please subscribe if you liked it and turn on the notifications so you know when I upload a new video. So yeah, thank you very much. Bye-bye.